Miracle Man. A saga of the outback specially dramatized from the prize-winning novel of R.S. Porteous. <laughs> Cattle Man. been woken up by the night, sister. Yeah, woken up from a restless sleep. Dreaming about Danny and the war. Yeah, the dream had been so real it took me a while to realize where I was. Yeah, the sister wanted to give me an injection to quiet me down. But instead we got to talking. <laughs> about me dream, about the war, about Danny. This is most exciting, Mr. McCready. Please go on. Yeah, where was I? On a ship, anchored off Gallipoli. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we was, sister. None of us had heard of Gallipoli before. Not Danny, not me. <laughs> not even the Sarge. It was just a beach, he said. And we'd been ordered to land there. Seems strange not having heard of Gallipoli. Well, these days it would be strange. But it wasn't then. We had no way of knowing we was on the eve of the greatest fiasco of the war. No way of knowing the flaming Turks was up there in the hills, waiting for us. Waiting to mow us down by the score. A hundred. A thousand. <laughs> I reckon most of the boys thought there was going to be met by brass bands. Either that or the enemy was going to come rushing out and throw down their guns as soon as we appeared. Yeah, they came rushing out all right, with a solid stream of lead. The water ran red with blood. Our blood. Most of the blokes who got it never knew what hit them. And those who were left, myself and Danny included, were stranded on the shore under fire from three sides. No cover and fire, no protection. No nothing. Oh, how awful. Yeah. You'll never know, sister. No one who wasn't there could ever imagine just how awful it was. Oh, it was like... Uh, well, I don't know. It, it's just impossible to describe it. There was five of us together. Me and Danny, the Sarge, Eddie York, and a bloke called Charlie Turner. See, we'd come ashore in a bunch. None of you got hit? Charlie stopped one on the shoulder. Dropped him like a stone. Well, it was as bad as it looked. But it wasn't good. We carried him up the beach and dug ourselves in. So you did have some shelter? Well, if you'd call a sandcastle any shelter. Like a piece of paper in a hailstorm. All we could do was lie there. Lie and pray. Oh, talk about digging our own grave. Strike me down. Shut up and keep your head down. Oh, I don't put your rank on me now, Sarge. Where we're, we're, we're going, stripes don't count. Well, we're not there yet. Here we are. I'm in charge. How's Charlie doing, boss? Leading pretty free. Looks like he's dead already to me. Half his luck, that's what I say. You talk too much, Eddie. At any rate, you've got nothing to complain about. You said you wanted to die on solid ground. Looks like you're going to get your wish. You call this solid ground? Well, if you're going to be choosy about it. Hey, look. What? That's Jimmy Barkley over there. Mm. It was Jimmy Barkley. Yeah, I seen him get it. He was just behind me. Too bad. He was a good bloke. They was all good blokes. Marston, Sands, Kennedy Hook, Gilmore. Not one of them reached the shore. A miracle any of us made it. What happened to the Navy? That's what I'd like to know. I supposed to cover it. Ah, they probably all got sunk or run into each other. Have you asked me this whole... No one's asking you. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, boy. I, I just... can it, you blokes, will you? Things are bad enough without us squabbling among ourselves. Well, I... I don't know. we cut off here. We can't get back to the ship, that's a cert. Well, it's better to die trying than just sit here and wait for it. Well, we just got to hope they send some relief, that's all. What if they don't? Well, if they don't, we've had our chips. Maybe we can wait till it's dark and try to swim for it. Swim where? Across to Africa? To one of the ships. Bad chance we'd ever find them in the dark. Anyway, we've got the whole day ahead of us. I'll give odds we won't last till noon, or Sunday. Look, how do we stand, Sarge? 
Are we supposed to wait for orders to retreat or something? Well, you listen to him. Orders to retreat. You heard the Sarge. We're cut if off. If you don't pipe down, York, I'll cut you off. Well, me telling him. Well, I'll do the telling, if you don't mind. You know, if we could get further up the beach, we'd have more cover. Huh. Yeah. But how? Maybe we should dig a tunnel underground. Look, let's just make a break for it. We've got an even chance. Mm. What do you reckon, boss? They'll cut us down if we try it in a group. So we go one at a time. Look, I'll go first. You'll do as you're told. If anyone goes first, it's me. It's neither of it. We take an order of seniority. Oh, I'm still not sure it's worth the risk. Look, we can't stay here, Sarge. Look, Sarge, he's right. We've got to do something. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we... Eddie! He's dead. Yeah, smack between the eyes. Talking his head off one second and... And the, the next he... That's how it goes, boy. I, I told him to keep his head down... Those murder and devils... Now, take, take it easy, will you? The positions were reversed. They'd be calm off the same. And above all, we've got to keep calm. Hey, just stuck me. If we do make a break for it, what about Charlie? Oh, he's light as a feather. Look, I can carry him. I'll just sling him over my shoulder and... Oh, Danny! Danny! Uh, it's okay, boss. Uh, just nick, nick me arm. I can't even feel Here, it. Here, let me have a look, boy. There. See? It's only a scratch. I... I can still carry Charlie. You're not carrying no one. I'm the biggest and I'll take him. No, he's dead weight, boss. He'll slow you down. I'll get him there. Okay. Well, here's how we'll work. Yep. I'll take your stuff and go first. Now, you follow with Charlie. Yeah. Young Danny can bring up the rear, but, but not too close. Wait and see if I make it first. A chance I won't get five yards, in which case you, you're better off here. Right. That understood? I reckon... Danny? Yeah? Right. Good luck to you, both. Good luck to you, Sarge. Here's a go. My Christ, look at him. He's going like the flaming wind. Yeah. He's going to make it. He's there. Nice going, Sarge. Nice going. Me next. I'll just get Charlie on board. Here, let me help you. Get down. Can you manage? Yeah, I've got him. Now listen, boy. If anything happens to me out there, you got to promise me something. For your mother's sake, take care of yourself. You know, it's not much good telling you that now, but if you do get out of this and I don't... Well... Uh... I know, boss. You don't have to say it. Oh, but we'll get out of it, both of us. i got a feeling. You and your feelings. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll get out of it. Boss? Yeah? Take it easy. Wait leg it up there before you follow. Right. Okay, Charlie boy. Here we go. Oh, over here. Right, right. Now, quick. Yeah. Right. You made it. Charlie, okay? Yeah. No, no, move it. Move it. Here comes Danny now. Come on, boy. Come on, boy, come on. Daddy, this way! Oh, I've fallen off a, off a flame and log. Yeah. How's the arm feeling? Oh, it's strong enough to, to pump some lead back at the, those turkeys. Okay, let's uh, pick a few off. Yeah. Oh, can't even see the blighters. I'll just direct your fire up that ridge. An old nest of them up there. Uh, 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 this is more like it. What do you reckon, boss? We never had turkey for breakfast before. Turkey for breakfast. Oh, I reckon we got ourselves one or two at that. Where were you firing from, exactly? Hmm. Well, it was just a sort of a hole in the sand. But it was built up, you know, like a trench. I don't know who put it there. Oh, the Turks, maybe. At any rate, it was a mighty sight healthier than the other. Oh, what a dreadful experience it must have been. The worst of it was, we just didn't know what was going on. We had no contact with the rest of the section, no contact with anyone. 
Half the time it seemed our own blokes was firing at us. And did the other one regain consciousness? Charlie, we went off and on. We managed to stop him bleeding. That helped. Funny part was, later on he never remembered a thing from the time he went over the side of the ship. He was lucky. Yeah, in that sense I reckon he was. Anyway, there we were, the four of us. But not for long. Pretty soon there was only three. Hey, I'm out of ammo. I've only got a few rounds left myself. How are you doing, Sarge? Oh, not so hot. Maybe we'd better save it. Oh, if only we could get to some of those blokes down there, we'd have plenty. They got no use for it. Now, don't get no ideas. We're staying put. With any luck. Now, but... Hey, I just got me hair parted. Stay down. Come up from here, Sarge. Sarge. Sorry, boss. Where to get you? I don't feel, feel anything. What? He's gone. So long, Sarge. It's been a it's been a real privilege, haven't you? Turner, Danny, and me. Poor Sarge. When he went, I lost a true blue friend. Cattleman, a Grace Gibson radio production. <laughs>